Ah, light. Hey guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. And in this case, showing you guys a, a kind of light that I haven't shown before. Usually I do like, you know, smaller or even bigger, you know, um, LED uh, flashlights, EDC lights or uh, headlamps and that sort of thing. Now, the, the lantern definitely does have a place, but it's uh, the first fluorescent tube lantern that I've actually shown and it is definitely an option and it's definitely a good option even especially for this kind of light for for a lantern um, maybe not a well-known fact is that uh, as of today the fluorescent tube is actually more efficient than LEDs yes it is true that uh, in uh, theoretically speaking you know last year uh, there's already been developments on LED being even more efficient than fluorescent tubes but as of right now what you have in the market it's uh, the tube the fluorescent tube is more efficient I'll give you an example of that actually um, a Phoenix um, that uses two AA batteries it's going to be providing 200 lumens for two and a half hours all right this lantern on the other hand it uses a, a three watt you have the information there check changing modes um, uses a four AA batteries and it's a three watt fluorescent tube so it's about 300 lumens and it's gonna be lasting for burn time five hours all right so for for four AA batteries it's gonna be lasting five hours of 300 lumens of course this is a, a flawed type of light it's not focused as an LED but compared to a Phoenix that uses two AA batteries lasts for two and a half hours of 200 lumens it's clearly more efficient the downside is that this is of course nowhere near as as long lasting and as reliable as LEDs actually fluorescent tubes have you know a little bit more of a, of a complex mechanism going on it actually explains that uh, whenever you turn it on and off you know here you have you know important information to make the fluorescent bulb last longer allow 20 seconds between turning on and off do not turn on and off repeatedly remove these batteries so you have to be careful about leaving 20 seconds in between turning it on on and off it is more delicate and it's definitely not going to going to be lasting that long it's not going to be lasting as long as as LEDs but for this kind of thing for you know even though I've said before many times that a headlamp is more useful because it allows you to focus light specifically where you need it and get uh, jobs done when, during a blackout when you don't have power sometimes you just want to illuminate a room you know just like so like this you know maybe maybe the, the family is, is hanging around everyone is you know but sometimes you just want to put light in a room and for that a lantern is ideal some people like lanterns that use a, a natural gas or, or, or compressed gas of some sort or or liquid fuel I think that a, a battery operated lantern it's it's a much safer cleaner and, and hassle-free choice you know, I think it's a pretty good alternative this one it's actually pretty well constructed pretty pretty solidly built waterproof too uh, brand in case you're wondering Asuma you know it's probably one of those no name is type of brand maybe you find it under some, some other name which is which is still okay the construction in this one is you know surprisingly good for a, a lantern that costs you know under 10 bucks definitely so if you see something like this uh, do consider it it is it is a valid option for illuminating a room uh, in this kind of way it's part of the kit uh, um, among other um, you know uh, lights such as a headlamp or, or good uh, LED uh, hand light uh, some of the things you want to keep in mind is something that is kind of okay built and especially that it uses commonly available batteries I saw some pretty nice ones but use a uh, C or D type of batteries larger ones and they're not as easily available and uh, to be honest they're quite expensive when you come you come uh, buy them 
and it makes all things a little bit more complicated because you have to stock up one more type of battery. I like to keep it simple, uh, CR123A batteries for, for EDC lights and for the rest of the stuff, AA or AAA lights. So it is an advantage that it uses four of those AA batteries. If you find it under some, some other name, just keep those uh, things in mind. And if you have some other uh, lantern that you've used, you've liked, some uh, brand name maybe, just let me know. I definitely like to check it out and let you guys know what I think about it. So folks, that's all for now. Take care, have a great day, and as always, see you on our next video.